Hello everyone, Ojaswa Thais again welcomes you in the series of MCQs based on Gary Current Affair. Today we will discuss the MCQs of 11 November, but before starting the video, you can download the link of PPTs given in the description box below. And second, as soon as you see the question on the screen, please take a pause and try to answer it first and then see the explanation part and try to get at least 7 question correct. Now let's begin with question number 1. It is about Alzheimer's disease. So 3 statements have been given about this disease. First, the Alzheimer's is an irreversible disease that slowly destroys memory and thinking skill. Second, it can only be caused by genetic factors and is hereditary. And third, recently US has approved a drug oligomate to treat the disease. So you have to consider this statement and you have to choose the option which is correct. So here the statement number 2 and statement number 3 are incorrect. So answer will be A, 1 only. This explanation part, and the Alzheimer disease is an irreversible progressive brain disorder and that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills. And this is caused by a combination of genetic, environmental and lifestyle factor and it is both Hereditary and lifestyle disease, not alone hereditary. Question number two, consider the following statements about eye stash. So two statements have been given about this. So eye stash is an IT initiative which aims to give boost to make in India. Second, it is an initiative of Ministry of Finance. So you have to choose the option which is correct. Here, the statement number 2 is correct and first is incorrect. So answer will be B, second only. And here is the explanation part. And this ice dash is an IT initiative for improved monitoring of customs clearance for imported goods. And it is an initiative of Ministry of Finance which is correct. And it has been downloaded by Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, CBIC, in collaboration with National Informatics Center NIC. Now question number third, you have to consider this statement about Swami Yogananda. So first, he is considered father of yoga in the West. Second, he is a proponent of Kriya Yoga. Third, his autobiography is named Yoga of Action. You have to consider the option which is correct. So here, first, second and third. All three are correct. So answer will be D. First, second and third. Here is the explanation part. And the Kriya Yoga is union with the infinite through a certain action and re Kriya. The Kriya Yoga was revived in 1861 by Mahavatar Babaji. Now question number 4. You have to consider the following statements about Lingdam Monastery. So two statements have been given. First, it is a Buddhist pilgrimage. Center located in Himachal Pradesh. Second, the monastery follows the Khan Kagyu sect, ancient school of Tibetan Buddhism. You have to consider the option which is correct. So here the option number second is correct and first is incorrect. So answer will be B, second only. So here is the explanation part and you can see the image of this monastery. And it is located actually in Ranka, Sikkim, not in Himachal Pradesh. And recently, Indian president has visited this monastery. A question number 5. A new species of frog named Polyptate penglansis has been found. But you have to choose where this has been found. So here the correct option is C. That is C. Bengal, not Rajasthan, not Assam, not Andaman and Nicobar. And questions giving the scientific name of the species could be asked in the exam. So do consider this kind of questions. Here is the explanation part and the new species of tree frog has been found in Bengal and you can see the image of the frog here. And it has been named brown blows Bengal tree frog. Now question number 6. Supreme Court recently summoned chief secretaries of three states to curb the minac of air pollution. So you have to consider these statements regarding chief secretaries. So first. Chief secretaries are members of IAS who are administrative head of state government. Second, chief secretary of the state also acts as the ex officio chairman of the state civil service board. Third, chief secretaries are chosen by the state governor. Fourth, in the UTs which are governed by administrators, chief, chief secretaries are absent. 
you have to consider the statement which are correct. So here statement number 3 is incorrect. So answer will be B, 1, 2 and 4 only. It is the explanation part and the statement number 3 is incorrect in the given statement because chief secretaries are chosen by its state's chief minister not governor. And the post of chief secretary is the senior most post held in the civil services of the state and duties of India. Now question number 7. You have to consider the following statements about Duncan depression. So three statements has been given and you have to choose the incorrect one. Statement number 3 is incorrect. So answer will be C. 3 only. Here is the explanation part. And the statement number 3 is incorrect because active and naturally occurring life cannot sustain in Dunkel depression which has been found in the recent reports and it is a kind of exception. Now question number 8. India has recently said no to RCEP. What could be the possible reason behind the decision? First, India believes that RCEP trade deal provides adequate, adequate protection against possible surges of imported goods. Second, current provisions in the deal reportedly do not prevent countries from rural countries products on which India could maintain higher tariffs. So you have to consider the statement which are correct. So here the statement number 2 is correct and first is incorrect. So answer will be B, second only. So here is the explanation part and the statement number 1 is incorrect in the given statement because RCP trade does not provide adequate protection against possible surges of imported goods. And this inadequate protection against surges in imports is a major concern for India because it fears that cheaper products from China would flood the market of India. Now question number 9. Bihar government is beautifying the public places with Madhubani painting. With reference to it, consider the following statements and you have to choose the incorrect one. So painting is very important topic of art and culture. So do consider this kind of questions. So here, the statement number D is incorrect. So the correct option will be D because the Madhubani painting already having the GI tag. And here is the explanation part. You can see the image of Madhubani painting. And generally, no space is left empty. The gaps are filled by painting of flower, animal, birds and even geometrical designs. Now question number 10. Nandaburi place was recently in news. You have to choose in which country this place is located. So the correct answer is A. Thailand. Here is the explanation part and you can see in the map that it is located in Thailand. So here I am wrapping up today's MCQs. Hope you guys are liking the series. And in the last positive quotation, success consists of getting up one more time. Be consistent and work hard. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update of the MCQs. Like, comment and share the video. And if you have any kind of doubt and suggestion, you can write down in the comment section below. Thank you.